Welcome to the Cary Systems Technical Institute video training series. This program will review the DOORS 32 DOORS for Windows software basic installation and configuration. For proper installation and configuration of the software, please view the modules in the order listed. This will ensure that the information needed for programming will have been created and is available. Modules 1 through 9 will guide you through the installation of the software onto the host PC and configuring the hardware and operating parameters for proper programming and operation. Modules 10 through 16 review additional features used for basic system operation, communication between the host PC and controller network, and manual control of the doors, inputs, and outputs. This is module 8 of 16, Setup Access Group. Access groups combine time zones and doors into groups of where and when access can be granted. Each user is then assigned to an access group. Access is granted if the user meets the access group criteria. Open the access group window from either the setup pull down list and select access group or from the toolbar icon button. Access groups are created and edited using a wizard, a series of windows that take you step by step through the creation process. The start button jumps to the beginning of the wizard. The next button takes you to the next step. The back button takes you to the previous step. And the end button jumps you to the end of the wizard. Click the Next button to begin entering information to create your access group. To create a new access group, click the New button, which will clear all the data fields in the wizard in preparation for a new access group, and then click Next. All of the doors in your system will appear in the Select Doors window. Click on the deselected door icon for each door that you want to include in this access group. The icon will then change to a selected icon. Once all the doors have been selected, click the next button. The door icons will only be available if the door type feature has been enabled in setup system, the doors tab, and the options window. The enter guard telephone entry icon appears automatically when a unit has been detected during auto configuration. Click on a door to open the available time zone list. Scroll through the list and select the desired time zone to be assigned to that door. Then click the OK button to assign the time zone to the door. You must repeat these steps for each door in your access group. Then click the Next button when all the doors have been assigned time zones. Note that doors are assigned a never time zone by default, and this must be changed or access to that door will not occur. Click the Next button to move to the next screen. Enter a descriptive name for the access group, then click the Save button. Names of the access group should be limited to 30 characters or less, including spaces. When done, click Save. The saved access groups are now available to assign to users. Setup Users is discussed in a different module in this presentation. There are other access group tasks that can be performed. Using the wizard, you can edit an access group or delete an access group. To edit an existing access group, select an access group from the Load Access Group pull-down menu. Click the Next button to step to the Select Doors window and make your changes. Click on each icon you want to select. If you want to add a door, 
click on a deselected door to make it highlighted. If you want to deselect a door, click on a highlighted icon until it goes to deselect, and then click the next button. Select each door, and then select the time zone you want to assign to those doors. Click OK to assign the time zone to a door. Then click the End button. Click the Save button and the edited access group is saved. You may or may not want to change the access group name to reflect the changes made to the access group. To delete an access group, select that group from the Load Access Group pull-down menu. Click the Delete button, and the access group is deleted from doors. If an access group is being used by a cardholder, doors will not allow it to be deleted. You must first reassign the user to a different access group in Setup Users and save that change. You will now be allowed to delete the access group. This concludes Module 8 of 16, Setup Access Groups.